Hi, and today we're looking at another question, O-level type question, and this time we're looking at, uh, it looks like a real-world type of application, um, but really it's testing a simple concept of arc length. So let's read the question. A windscreen wiper of length 25cm sweeps through an angle of x degrees. So let's just try to visualize. Okay, I have some wiper, you know, like a car wiper. And it tells me that it sweeps through an angle of x degrees so maybe let's say it, it it doesn't go all the way maybe it goes all the way to here okay so pardon the drawing okay something like that and this is x degrees and the wiper is of length from the center 25 cm and they tell me that the distance moved by the tip so this is the tip right and the distance moved by the tip is 70 cm. So what do you see? This wiper is, is drawing out a sector of a circle, right? It's drawing out the arc and, and the whole area becomes a sector of a circle. And so this arc length is therefore 70 cm, right? So this whole length is 70 cm. And they're trying to ask you what is the angle x. So our arc length formula tells us the arc length is equal to theta r, where theta is in radians. So in this case, let's just plug it in. So arc length is 70 cm in this case, and theta is x, but it's in x degrees, so we need to convert x degrees to radians. So let's, let's just try to do that. Um, we're going to convert degrees to radians once again. So I just pull out what I know, 180 degrees is always pi radians. And what I want now is x degrees. I want to know how many radians this is. So 180 degrees, let's get it to 1 degree first by dividing by 180. So this is pi divided by 180 right, on both sides. And then from 1, I want to get to x. I just multiply by x. So from here, I just multiply by x as well. So that gives me that x degrees is pi over 180 multiplied by x. So I'm just going to multiply into the numerator. That is legal uh, radians. And so over here, is I cannot put it in x degrees. That is actually error. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say this is in radians, so it's pi x divided by 180. So this is pi times x over 180. Um, and that is theta, and my multiplied by r, what is r? r is uh, 25 cm. So this times 25. So let me just simplify a little bit. Um, so I multiply 25 into the numerator, so it's 25 pi x over 180. Good, I can find x now. Can you see? I can find x now. Everything else is solved for. Pi is simply a number. So let me just multiply 70 by 180. And what I get is uh, 12600 equals to 25 pi x. And then I divide both sides by 25 pi to give me x. So there you go. Um, x is simply this, but they told me use pi as 22 over 7. Take pi as 22 over 7. So I'm going to say this is 12600 divided by 25 times 22 over 7. Key it all into a calculator and what you get is 1 seven six four over one one and since it's a degree um really i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it to one decimal place one dp because it's it's a it's a degree it's an angle in degrees all right and that's it let me zoom out so that you can just take a look at the whole process again 